Welcome to I Love Stocks and my hats go off to the EV car market right now. It's, I mean, it's really been very well and I think we're going to roll this over into 2021. Now I heard that General Motors is going to come out and they got a target of 30 new EV cars by 2025. I mean, come on, that's only four years away, five years away. Good luck. Hopefully ain't no glitches. But General Motors, I got a pretty good high mark on it. We are going to double in price maybe next year or at least get to 60 next year for sure. Let's go ahead and talk about two stocks I want to talk about right now, and that is Tesla and Nile. I want to bring up Nile first. Nile, you know, is a battery based, I mean, a car based company out of China. We all are familiar with the news and everything about it. So I'm going to just go right into the chart. And this is what I spotted on the chart the end of the day, and that was a inverse pennant flag, which I think we could probably come back to one more dip. If not, should go ahead and break out to resistance levels. But what we have here is an inverse pennant flag. It's gone on for about three days now, and it's getting ready to squeeze. It's going to go ahead and squeeze probably first thing pre-market. You might have some bulls come in here and buy it at the, at the bounce, and then it'll dip on down and pull back to support level. Or it can go ahead and break up here to resistance, and I'll go ahead and pull the chart up, show you what I'm looking at here on Nile. Let me see what chart we got. i got to switch this over. I've not been as bullish on Nile compared, if I'm comparing it to Tesla by any means. But I do like playing the dips on, I think we're in a position right now in Nile where we can play real good dips. If it does dip, play good bounces off them dips. We they, When it dips, it dips pretty good. I mean, and here we are, we're in about a two-week dip. And it's down 20% just last week. So this is something that we do want to keep a watch on. Now, I've got a low support on the 20-day right down here at 38.64. That first one's going to be right down here. I'm going to say right around 4086 with a double bottom. We've touched down there a few times and it's bounced up to this resistance bar right up in here. And that resistance level to break is going to be 4835. Now I'm a bear on Nile compared to a lot of other traders out there, but I'm a bull when it comes to playing the dips. And that's why I'm going to play this trade here on out. I will not hold this stock long. I will only scalp it and day trade it. And maybe if it pulls back enough and it gets some news, I'll swing trade it for two or three days to my resistance levels. My theme, buy it, support, sell it, resistance. And I'm sticking to that, especially with the prices that we are with the EV market right now. There's a lot of other new car companies that are coming out that, that will have the same kind of bounces on them. There will be a lot of them that will fail, and there will be only a few that will survive. And you'll see merges probably into next year into 2021 a lot of companies pulling together and merging together and then the year after that they'll really start pulling their own strength but for right now tesla's on top of the list so we've got a low support to hold at 38.64 if not we're going to pull back that's a double bottom actually if you look at it we have pulled back here a few times and we've bounced up that first support like i said 40.86 and then resistance to break is going to be in this little area right here at 43.67. If we can break out of that channel, we'll bring it up here to resistance levels of 48.35 and 49.97, and that would be my exit point. But I expect it to pull back a little bit and then retrace back up and start building a solid channel. You know, I, I don't want to see it go any lower than $31.90, $32. If it does that, then we're going to be in serious trouble. But for right now, we're going to hold this support at 38.64 with a channel of resistance between 48.35 and 49.27, and that is Nile. Let's go ahead and go straight to Tesla. Now, everybody knows I love Tesla. I've been a bull on Tesla for over five years. I've talked about it for over 10. I've been watching this stock for a long time, every day. And I just love the Model S, and I love the Cybertruck. They're involved in a lot of many other activities, too, which I call this company a chip maker. That's Tesla. But this is going to be a very exciting market. The EV car market is going to be very exciting in the year of 2021. I guarantee it. 
So let's go ahead and look at the chart on, on Tesla. Now I got my TTM trend chart right here with my EMA moving averages. I got it looking at the 20 day because that's what I'm basing this run on. We've had a nice little run. This thing's up four or five hundred percent. We are consolidating a channel, which I did call out last week. I said I want to see it go sideways into a channel. We are receiving that channel. I want to see it go on for a little bit longer, but we do have a resistance to break here at 604.52. That's a solid resistance. We are having higher lows in the past three days, and it is setting up an ascending triangle. So that we could have a little breakout and a pullback, or we could see like it does every morning. In most cases, it has a pullback and then runs. Pull back and run. Pull back and run. Pull back and run. And then we had a pullback and not as big as the last ones. So we got to try to find a pivot point in this channel for support. I've got that charted down already. And it's going to be right in here, right at the 585.77 level. If this knifes to that lower support, I'll probably jump in the trade and scalp it up and day trade it. I'm in position now where I just want to scalp it and day trade it. I don't want to do nothing else. I don't want to hold it overnight. I don't want to swing it. I just want to get in and out of it and take my profit. And it's so easy to do. Just follow the bears. And when the bears start to give up and the bulls start to come in, take the trade. And we have usually have these double bottoms that happen every day. You see them happen here and here. And you see it happen here and here. You will have a second chance to take an entry on the early morning pullback. And if it's higher, if it's a higher low than the previous one, it's going to be a bull the rest of the day. Just remember that. If then here's a good example. If the pullback is higher than the low, you're going to be a bull the rest of the day. If the pullback is higher than the low, you can take it and guarantee you're going to be a bull the rest of the day. If you pull back a higher low, kind of didn't do that trick right in here, but you could have took this trade from 472, maybe to this support level, and run it on up to my pivot point in the channel of 585. So a $10 scalp on this could be three or 400 bucks on an option. Remember that. This thing really, I really love this chart. So we got a resistance level of 60209 to 60454 to break. We have a pivot point area in the channel right now at 585.81 with a solid support right down in here at 476.82. This is what you call an inverse head and shoulders. Inverse head and shoulders. And always remember that little pattern. That's an inverse head and shoulders with higher lows. So yeah, it needs to pull back a little bit and then retrace back up. And maybe we'll be starting a new channel in here. In this area right in here. Resistance to break is 604.54 with a long target of 620. And that is Tesla. I love stocks. Please subscribe. Hit that little Twitter bird right there. We're gaining new followers in here every day. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here at all times. And we just love to keep our social activity working. Also, we do have links here to our stock twits accounts. We have our YouTube channel, and if you want to get some merchandise, please look at our store. Always remember, I love stocks. <laughs>